All right, guys. For, so, shift, 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 shift. Drop him in. Instantly gone. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Colson Scooters. I'm joined here with Misa. He is a friend from school. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Colson Scooters. I'm Colson Smith, and today I'm joined here with Misa. He's a friend from school. Hello. And we're going to be showing you the new fish we got, so let's get into the video. Alright guys, so this is Misa. Um, we're gonna head to the lake real quick and grab some minnows and some shrimp for our new fish. I already got some, but they're too small, so I'm gonna let those go. Let's try to move to the back part. Get the ones over there. So that grain leads to the back here. And the little minnows go back here. Those are too small. I mean, I can catch the babies. There we go, look at this. All right, I'll put these in a Ziploc and then we'll get out of here. All right guys, so the type of frogfish we did get is Sargassum frogfish. They're found in the Sargassum seaweed and they camouflage as you can see and they can change colors depending on their surroundings. So they also have this little worm type thing on the end of their head, which is called an esca and it lures in little fish and they will eat them. They can expand their mouth up to two times the size of them, and they also get up to eight inches. So that means they can expand their mouth to 16 inches when they're fully grown. Frogfish are types of anglerfish, and as you may know, anglerfish are ambush predators, and ambush predators rely heavily on camouflage and distinct evolutionary traits. As Colson has shown us, the sargassum fish has what is called esca, a kind of bait or lure that attract their prey. The sargassum fish also has what is called prehensile fins. These fins help them navigate through the sargassum algae or seaweeds. They also, these fins also have gill pores that helps them breathe outside of the water for sustained periods of time. The sargassum frogfish is found in the Atlantic and Indo-Pacific Ocean. Um, up to like 33 or 35 feet of water. He also eats every other day about four to six ghost shrimp a day when he's small and when he's bigger I'll be feeding him bigger fish like maybe some Maybe a goldfish at one point. I don't know um, Comment down below some name suggestions. Not sure if he's a girl or a guy. I can't really tell um, When they're bigger like fully grown the smaller one is the male and the bigger one is the female newborn frogfish are called larva and they're sustained in a kind of envelope which connects to their mouth, their anus, and their fins, which have gill pores. These envelopes will actually shorten and becomes a part of their skin when they become juveniles. Alright guys, so here's the frogfish. I don't know if you can see him, but he's right there. Um, he is in the green algae that I have right now, but this is all temporary. I'll be getting a better setup for him later. We're just going to feed him a little minnow we caught at the lake this morning, as you guys saw. Um, we caught about a few, I think, three minnows. I fed him one earlier today, and we're about to feed him one now. I'm just going to plop him in there. This is a freshwater fish in salt water, so he won't survive long, but I don't think he will anyway with the frogfish. Clear out a little space. Oh, he almost bit my finger drop him in instantly gone yo he creamed that thing. he didn't even give that thing a second that was i really think i touch. have another yeah i have another one in here so we're gonna chuck him in there don't want to feed him too much but what is he doing he's freaking out it's coming back it's coming back oh he's gone Ooh. 
That was cool. We Alright guys, so this is the next day. We did move the frog fish into the 20 gallon tank. Um, it is super dirty, but um, this algae gives him a place to hide and I'm also going to be cleaning it out um, probably tomorrow and putting this, or some of the sargassum algae in there. Um, we went to the beach yesterday and caught a bunch of these little minnows, or these little bait fish, and we're going to be feeding him today. And I also caught a bunch of shrimp, which are right there. There are about a dozen of them in there. And so we're gonna be feeding him a few of those today. And um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, I got a shrimp in the net. We're just gonna pop him in here. And he should find it relatively soon, hopefully, for the video. I honestly don't even know where the shrimp went. So maybe he won't find it. But I'm gonna grab a fish. I'm gonna grab two fish, actually, and try to put them on tweezers and try to feed them like, right up and close so you guys can see it. All right, so we finally caught a minnow. It took a really long time, but we finally caught it. Uh, I'm probably just gonna put him on the tweezers and feed him. Frogfish is literally right here, so it should be pretty easy and get a good video. It's just because I don't wanna get bit, just in case. But we got the minnow right here. Oh, he instantly hit that. I'm gonna grab another one and do it again. All right, we caught another one, so let's see if he'll eat it. Oh look, he's already coming up through the water for it. Ooh. It's, I only had him for a few days, so it's really cool to see him eat straight from the tweezers. And even from my hand, as you saw. Um, I'll put a clip in. But, um, I fed him two of those minnows, and there's a few shrimp in here, so if he is still hungry, he will go and hunt them down. He will not fight the, um tang because it's way too big for him to eat it um but if it was too uh, if it was small then the farfish would attack it but he'll be fine for now so we are moving the tang out of here this is definitely not a permanent tank for him all right guys that's gonna wrap up today's video i hope you guys did enjoy if you did smash the like button um also subscribe if you're new here if you did enjoy my videos um, and let me know what you think about the new format of the videos, if you like the more info heavy, if you like the more entertainment, or if you like them in between. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, make sure you comment a name, suggestion for the frogfish. And yeah, until next time, peace.